Inglorious Bastards, the sixth movie by Quentin Tarantino released in 2009. We watched it and we're going to talk about it. Spoilers ahead. All right. <laughs> what, what, what? Spoilers ahead. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, obviously. Spoiler discussion. Let's. Okay. So, um, so we just both watched Inglorious Bastards yeah. first time last night. I finished around midnight. Oh wow! <laughs> I think yeah. I think I, I finished it like probably close to five. I'd say. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I've seen it more recently. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, what do you think about it? I I liked it. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a Tarantino film. Right. There's parts that I don't like, but okay. overall, I, I feel like at a point like I love that scene. I love that scene. I love that scene. For an overall movie, for me, it goes like up and down a little bit. Oh, yeah. That's not, it's not my favorite. Okay. Fair, fair. I get more into that later. I got, yeah. Um, obviously, it's it's a Quentin Tarantino. I, I like Quentin Tarantino movies. And I, I do too. Um, I, I've, our over our journey of doing the top one hundred movies, like I I've we've watched all I've watched all, all the ones that I've all the Quentin Tarantino movies I've seen, except for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, have yeah. been because of the top one hundred movie list. Yeah, I agree. And um, I think. Yeah, and I think actually uh, Pulp Fiction. I first watched that outside of this as well. But like, yeah, my first time. we've been like we've been going through and we've been watching these. And every time a Quentin Tarantino movie comes on, like it's it's just a blast. You know, oh, it's yeah. it's different. It's different. There's it's it's like wild. That. And um, one thing I can re- definitely respect about Quentin Tarantino is he likes to mix things up all the time. Yeah, he'll he'll change things up. He'll do different things. Um, he'll take. Um, I think he, he did this with Once Upon a Time in Hollywood as well, where he takes a historical event and then he changes things. So he puts his own ending on it. Yeah, he puts his own ending on it. He yep. puts his own spin to it. Um, yep. was, was, like, was this a like an actual thing that ha- kind of happened? I don't know. I, if I asked, I, I, never, I, I, I thought this was completely fictional. I think it is, like, uh, I think it's completely fictional. Okay. But, I, th- I've I think it's... heard of, like... Whatever, like the whole band the going out, terrorizing and... the Germans. I've yeah. never heard of like a, the theater trying to burn down. I've never heard of the film. I, yeah, so I, I don't. I think it's largely fictional. I, I think it's entirely. I, I think it's yeah. I think it's entirely fictional, Which, um, especially considering at the end, you know, you kill, they kill off Hitler yeah, and the plot actually worked. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, the plot worked and they ended the war, um, like in, in like in 1944 instead of 1945. So that was. Um, so I, I think I personally think it's entirely fictional. Yeah. I guess I think it works better if you view it that way. Yeah, because uh, yeah, otherwise you just. Um, but like for me, it, it was I, I was kind of surprised a little bit about the fact that it was entirely, or, um, like most of it was in different languages. Yeah, and it was I mean, granted they they, they switched between French. German, French, Italian, and English. Yeah, like they 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 would just they'd cycle through them, and. Um, I think in the opening scene they go through three languages. Well, they, well maybe four. just two. They, they they start off in French. Yeah, then they go they, German. Do they never? They don't. I don't. English? They don't think they go German. No, well, they don't. No, I don't think so. I think it might be started with German. I I believe because because um, because you're you're in France in 1944. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I I do have to say though I heavily respect Tarantino for doing this. Yeah. I really respect it, and the reason I say that is because. Um, most movies that take place in a foreign country use English. It makes yeah, sense, right? That's actually a good point. It's yeah. for an English audience. It's made in Hollywood. It's um, so so the, so you know like so so they'll take like they'll, they'll take it and they'll just they'll just have them like use like a like a, an accent from wherever they're from, but they'll just talk English they'll just also. talk English so everybody can understand the entire time. Um, but when and it's it's. It's good. It's it's fine, you know, for the most part. Like yeah. um, the the main thing I'm thinking of is like uh, an old TV show from like the '60s. I want to say Hogan's oh. Heroes. I love Hogan. <laughs> you you seen oh Hogan? I, I feel I feel like we, we, I grew we grew up I grew up with that. Yeah. Like it um, actually we watched we there was like one, the one TV show we actually owned. I've, ne- I've never met anyone else. that we had the only entire thing. And um, so we watched that so many times. As I, I kind of got sick of it, but I, I'm, I'm familiar with all the plots of the I, episodes. I have. Uh, I have been through the whole thing four times. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure we've watched it more than that. Yes. <laughs> but um, like Hogan's Heroes, like, right? It's everybody speaks English, yeah. even though they're in a, a German, you know, but like, yeah. and they, they throw in a little German here and there, but like, 
Yeah. It, it doesn't fully make sense. TV, for a TV but, show. But for a TV show and, and for a, a uh, like, just, just for an English audience, it makes sense to yeah. put that movie in English regardless. It's like, okay, we're, we're, we're going to suspend our little, our disbelief of languages a little bit here yeah. just to kind of, just to kind of give the, um, like, like we're, we're going to imply this particular, like we're going to apply this country, we're going to apply this language, influencing in that language. But like, eh, we're going to, we're going to kind of like pull it back a little bit so that the English people can understand. Um, but having like almost the entire movie being in a different language. It, was... um, it wasn't, it's like, we, we've watched foreign movies, um, but we have like, not this mix, not like this with the language. Yeah, it's. And, I mean, uh, it's not a foreign movie either, but um, I, I highly respect the fact that he was so dedicated to it that he was like, that like he paid a lot of attention to what language was being spoken. Yep. Um, and at the same time, though, like because he knew he was doing that, he he really had to get a good performance. Yeah. So like when you have this this a scene I don't know, where Brad Pitt's speaking Italian, and so <laughs> you you have him. I think it's like he's trying to speak Italian, and they got it across the bottom of the subtitles or whatever, which is really cool. They had him do that. Right. But with his performance, you can tell he's not comfortable speaking it. Yeah. I don't know Italian. I don't know if that sounds correct or not. But off his performance, you're like, oh, he he does. Well, I mean, you you know you we, we don't we don't know like if if the words he's speaking is correct, but we can a hundred percent tell that he's not speaking it right. Just in the performance, like, but, that's, but that's just, cool. this, especially considering he has like a he has a southern drawl, oh. and then that comes full force when he's speaking Italian. Yep. it's like yep. buongiorno. It's like <laughs> it's like. Okay, dude. We know, and then and then the other and then the other guy he speaks he speaks some Italian and yeah. it's like that. Okay, that sounds a lot better. That yeah, sounds he, a lot better. <laughs> like that. That sounds like you speak Italian. And I, I even noticed that they used the the like the differing languages at plot points, right? So you take like take the opening sequence for instance, yeah. right? So okay, so you have a uh, you have German you have French farmers. You have some Germans guy coming up. Um, obviously, so obviously the German can. He can speak German. He can speak French because it's occupied France. Yep. And then they can also speak English. Yep. And um, so he comes in and they, they have their, all their conversation in French. And then um, he requests to speak in English. Yeah. He's, he's, he's like, he's like, are you like, I, I hear you're fluent in English. He's like, yes. He's like, well, I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> like, I'm, I'm getting exhausted with the French. Can I, uh, do you mind if we speak, yeah. s- switch to English? But then on top of that, he, he gets the farmer to betray the Jews that he's hiding, but they don't realize it because they're speaking English and the Jews don't speak English. Yes. And it's just like, whoa! Like, and, and also I noticed, like, and also I thought it was really cool how they, like, how he like, requested to speak English. And to me, it was, it was almost like, okay, so we can, so we can understand right. what they're saying. For us, but really. Kind of for us, but then also, wow. but then also it's a plot point in there. So, um, like, as, as they speak English, you know, um, then, and then, you know, they switch back to French uh, when he doesn't yeah, mind the, the Jews, kind of and... uh, like, like, hearing what they're saying. Um, that opening scene is great. Yeah, that was, that was pretty good. Great acting, great, great dialogue. And, um, and then later on, I don't know if you noticed this, but when, um, so when that, German soldier, who was the the war hero, yeah. right? Yep. Um, so he so he meets the cinnamon odor, who was the Jew. Yep. Um, and like like so like after after they meet, and then he he sees her in the window, and he comes in. Um, he ends up speaking some German to like another German. The people who recognize him as a war hero. Yep. No subtitles. That's right. So we're in her Be- shoes then. Because we're we're kind of. A little bit from her perspective, and, she can't and so she, because she doesn't understand it, we don't understand it either. Okay. So, um, right. and, and then, but when, um, but there are like different points where, like you know, like uh, like different characters don't understand different things, but you'll still get subtitles for it. Um, like when, like uh, during the the uh, premiere night. Yeah. Um, I guess I guess we're probably a little bit more. You think we're a little bit more in, um, Brad. Pitt's character shoes. Yeah. I do not remember the characters' names. Uh, there's a, there's a lot of them, but I don't I don't yeah, really remember the characters' one. names. But um, so Brad Pitt's character. Uh, I thought I think we were probably a little bit more in his shoes, but um, when he speaks French to her, 
you know they they don't understand but you know or when when italian is being spoken yeah, they there's, change that up sometimes. um so there, there's like a there's yeah really those four languages that are being spoken and the way that's used throughout the movie I think it was pretty well done. Yeah, oh, it's that was probably the best I've seen. Actually. Like the best I've seen. Yeah, and the, the the fact that that was a part of the plot and a part of the story, and they'll switch between languages depending. Um, that's pretty. That's pretty fun. Yeah. Um, and even even speaking about that, I mean, we'll even go into like that card scene, right? Yeah. Where um, you know they go down to the tavern underground. Yeah, the, the basement. <clears throat> the basement. The basement and then. Um, there, like he was the. I didn't realize he was the only American, out of the three, off uh, out of the three officers that were there. Oh, okay. Because the other two were German-born. That's right. Because the uh, the. I think he's British. The, the detective. You're probably. You might be right. He might be British. Because yeah. um, the. The detective guy he, he pointed out that uh, two of them were were German-born. Yeah. Um, out of the out of the bastards. Yeah. Yep. Um, that two of them were German-born, and then this guy was an American. Or he was he was British, I guess. Yep. Um, and so so like so he really drew attention to himself, especially when he talked, because like exactly. like his his accent isn't like a, a natural accent. Yeah. Um. So like so so then so then you know like like some of the Germans they're like hmm a bit curious or uh, a bit suspicious, and then you have uh, an SS officer who gets yeah, a bit yep. suspicious. That was the one that bit him. And then of course the <laughs> he's like three beers. Yep. Yep, I didn't get it at the time. Oh, you didn't? I I, I, I did no idea. I, I, I understood what it was. Um, I understood that's what gave him away. I just don't understand why until they, she explained it later or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I kind of got I got that because I think... I got I don't, the gist. I don't remember exactly why. I, I, I At some point, I, I learned that... Um, maybe it was partially because of this scene. I had heard about it or something. Mm. Um, that I That I knew that, like... They use that now in American Sign Language. That's that's how you do three, because that, that that's how you do W. Okay. That's how you do three. Okay. So for me personally, like I I, I end up using that more often, um, but like so like so I, I picked up on that when he did that, and I was like, oh no. Uh, I just realized something's going wrong. But again, so that's like that that scene is just a great scene. Oh yeah. You take that out, and it's like, that's perfect. And then I, I don't, I don't <laughs> love everyone. And then the fact though. that they all pointed the guns at each other's balls. <laughs> just I've like been pointing my gun at your balls for the last hour or whatever. It's like it's like the, the specifics of, of that, like specifically there. It's like okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, but like that that was that was pretty funny, and I'm I'm glad to. Oh no no he, never mind he didn't survive. I was gonna, I, I was gonna say, I, was, I, I thought, I thought it was interesting how the dad, the new, the new, the new father was the one who, uh, who survived the entire shootout. But, uh, but then he ended up dying because you know the actress yeah, shot him. And she was like, he okay, okay, okay. okay. No, it's, it's probably my grape a little bit. I, I wish a few more people had survived. Like in that, in that scene, they set up, and I don't, he's probably trying to get you to think about it. Mm-hmm. But like, so you do have, they make a huge deal about he just had his kid. And then it's like he's gonna get away, and then he died. I, I was I was expecting the like some of the bastards to survive. I was surprised that they were all killed off. Well, I'm like, like it sort of makes sense. Like, so that scene makes sense with like they just all died in a shootout. I I don't get the the ending scene. I I don't. I, to me, it does make practical sense. Uh, so those two died. So it's the two that were sitting in the in the theater. Yeah. And then they get the. It was, essentially, it was a. Suicide. I guess you could say it's a suicide mission. Yeah, he, yeah, and maybe that was the point. Yeah, to make more sense. I thought I, they would drop the dynamite out of the chairs and get out. I, I thought that's what they were going. Like, they were planning to, but I think I think they were um, they were wanting to make sure as many people died as possible. So they would. Maybe. So so they stayed there to shoot as many people as possible. Did, then yeah, they all blew up sense. and. Because from um, my mind, like if no one can get out, you can see no one can get out. Throw your dynamite down, take off. Yeah. Um, but I, th- I think there, there, you kind of you kind of want to make sure like as as few yeah, people. Yeah, I guess if I view it as a suicide mission, that makes more sense. Yeah, that, I, 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 I was I was kind of wondering because at first I thought I thought they were planning, like 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 they were just gonna be sitting there and then the the bombs on their legs were gonna blow up. Yeah, I was I was I was like, whoa! I was like, I, I don't think so. Obviously not because that because that wasn't the plan. Yeah, like that's yeah. not how things went down. Um, but I think out of out of all the bastards, I think only two survived. I know. 
because you, you had uh, Brad Pitt's character and then Little Boy or what little are they man. called? Little Man. Little Man. But yeah, that's it. Um, and you lose. Like they didn't leave the Jewish girl alive. Yeah, because she she died. Well, uh, she was shot by um, her, the actor. Her boyfriend. Not really. <laughs> or his, he his, wished. She was um, his girlfriend or whatever. I don't know how to say that. Um, and then uh, the other girl died. That, I did not see that coming. The uh, the black guy he he died not, yep. like with that the flames. Um, the actress uh, was strangled by. Yeah. Uh, Landa, I think it's Landa. His was um, his was the best acting in the film. He had a tough role. Oh uh, yeah, I I, I thought he I thought he was really fantastic, especially considering like so, especially considering that typically how you'd see like Germans hunting Jews, right? Yeah. Um, how you would see that is typically something along the lines of, um, like you you you'd end up seeing like. Uh, them being like super aggressive or whatever yeah. and he's just super friendly he's he's, he's there it's he's smiling over he's, friendly you feel something's off yeah you, you feel something's off and he's he's friendly he's um he's conversational you don't know what he knows yeah like you you're unsure if he if he if he suspects anything or not he, he's he takes a conversation so far and then just leaves it off yeah like like the ending scene when she broke her foot or whatever mm-hmm and it's like getting pretty serious. Like she's not exact. He's trying to dig the details. She doesn't have. And he's like, oh, which mountain would that be? And she can't think of one. He's like, oh shoot, he's got her. And then he like laughs. Ah, <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. yeah I and, got you there. I'm and you're not. You're, you're not sure because like he knows that she was a traitor, right? Yeah. He he knows that. Well, um. And so when when he laughs like like that, it's it's like, um, I mean you you kind of you kind of know it's 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 such a ridiculous thing. That, that she would be mountain climbing, yep. you know? It's like, what? Yeah, he was waiting for something um, better than that. And then, of course, um, but then, or like uh, when um, when he was uh, talking with that Jewish girl who owns the cinema. Yeah. Um, it's unclear if he knew yeah, they leave that she was them. Jewish because he... he it, he specifically ordered a glass of milk for yeah, her, yeah. and it was like that, I was gonna bring that up. I was gonna bring that up. And I was like, I was like, oh, that's that's really something right there because that because uh, it's because it's it's un, it's unclear, right? It's unclear exactly what he was thinking, and like it's like it, it's it it kind of kind of seems like a callback to that, that opening scene where he he requests a glass of milk. Yes, I agree. Um, I agree. And then he ends that conversation off with the like <laughs> silence for like three seconds. I did, I did have he, one yeah. more thing I was gonna ask you. <laughs> and then she's, and she gets like super nervous, and, like, and then he's like, ah, "I forgot. Oh well, must not have been that important." <laughs> Moving on, but you're like, he knows, doesn't he? Doesn't yeah, he you, you think he knows? Although, granted, I mean, he could have known. He could have known because, um, because he saw the potential. Because, like, he he ended up helping the Allies win the war. Essentially, yeah. he's like, "I can, I can end this entire thing right now. I can put a stop to this entire plot, or I can essentially allow the plot to happen." And benefit from it. Um, like profit from it, and like this, and and not go to not to go to prison. And it was interesting too, because like you can make the case he could see the war was going badly at this point, maybe. I mean, it's 1944. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even place that, but whatever. They had the Fuhrer like men are whatever. The Allies are on the beaches in Normandy. Yeah. The end is. You could kind of get the feeling the end is starting to draw near. Yeah. Was, that, that that was. I did not expect that though. In, in that moment. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't think. I was. I was like. I was like. Okay. I'm like. What kind of deal is he gonna try to strike to not do that? And it's like, oh wait, you you mean you're gonna defect? Yeah, I like. Not. I was like, whoa. No idea. Because he, he did not seem like the type when he of announced that. Like when he started going down the road, I was totally hooked. I'm like, where is whoa. this going? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, whoa. that was that was that was pretty crazy. And uh, yeah, it was. I, I really like the fact that that they ended it with them carving the not, oh. the swastika on his forehead. I was going to kill him. I I didn't really expect it. I thought I thought well, well it, okay, it, so once they shot the other guy, I, I was thinking they might, but I was like, but they also kind of had a deal to yeah. keep him alive. Um, and they're like, yeah, we don't need him. Um, that was a, that was a very interesting ending, <laughs> though. I'm not. I did not see that coming. Yeah. That was that whole ending in the movie is just like. Couldn't see it coming. That that might be a theme with Tarantino. You, have, you get he, to the he, end. He has, somehow, he has some wild films. It he has ties some together wild at the films. end, but I'm like, 
I did not see how we got there. <laughs> Halfway through the movie, I'm like not predicting. I would not whatever. have. I, I didn't know where this movie was really going to go. So uh, Marcel, who's uh, the, the the guy who ran the, who's the projectionist yep. at the theater, um, honestly, like him because he's the one who locked all the all the theater doors. I don't know if the other guys like checked the theater doors and realized that they were all locked. So that 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 might have been why they were still there, so that they could. Um, yeah, you, yeah. Granted, also. Um, because it, it was also announced that it was going to happen, so th- th- I think th- their plan, I think, was to uh, was to plant all the bombs and then it would blow up. And then their plan has changed because, um, yeah. like, she announced that she was going, and then started the fire, and then they were like, "Okay." <laughs> that was a they did that well. The announcement video too. Yeah, I thought uh, yeah, I, I was I was, I was like I was like, "How are you going to do? It? Are you going to do it at the beginning of the video?" And then, um, but there was a section in the um, in it, and then she and then she had that bet, and I was like. Oh, that's what they're doing. <laughs> I, was, I was, I was, like, I was like, like, how are you gonna show it? Like, why are you right. gonna, like? I was like, what's yeah, going I, on? I thought it was gonna be something they're gonna film the fire. I, I didn't know what they were gonna yeah. do. Which did I, I, I didn't know like, like, who, like, who was that for? But it was just like, like, just we're, we're killing you with this, with this building, and, and, then, and then, and then, yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm also glad that it was able to go down, and she didn't have to do anything. You know, um, it's very interesting though, like. He really did a great job in the film of like, like who's the good guys? Because mm-hmm. like you want to say Brad Pitt and his group is the good guys, but they do some pretty horrible things. They're bastards. So it's hard to side with them. Yeah. Uh, the Germans are are killing the Jews and stuff. Yeah. No, but don't. they don't show anything brut- brutal or whatever. Yeah. And then like Lando, I think he like in the first one he lets the farmer's family live. Yeah, yeah. Because so, like, um... they give him a little like they don't just make the Nazis pure evil. And the and the like technically even like her getting revenge on the family burning everybody that's that's like how it goes but that's not portrayed as this is awesome it's yeah. like they don't make the Jews and allies perfect and the Nazis totally evil, which yeah is, is, and I think and and, was, and yeah. you know to your point of like um like you wish there'd be more people alive like nobody was safe uh, yeah yeah and any anybody could die at any point like like that's, nobody and had that the plot is a armor common Tarantino thing yeah so Pulp yeah. Fiction I had who's the who's the guy that gets whacked like halfway through with the shotgun. Uh, it's a uh, yeah, the John Travolta's character. I yeah, think. yeah, 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 John. Travolta. Yeah, we 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 just could get, not see that coming just at all. Get like shot in a bathroom or whatever. I think like whoa. Maybe this is wrong, but this it feels like he bounces back and forth from main characters. It's like, it's like for this for this while we're gonna be following Brad Pitt, and now for this one the main characters mm. land a full bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we're gonna jump to the Jewish girl at the cinema because we've we've got um. I think this goes because I think. Tarantino's a bit more of a. Um, he, he does a lot of like non-linear storytelling. Every time. And so, um, so here he's got like, okay, we've got this group of people, we got this group of people, we got this group of people, and we're gonna follow. We're gonna follow bastards here for a bit. We're gonna follow. Yeah. Um, uh, the Jewish girl with the cinema. Shasana. Shasana. We're gonna follow her for a bit, and then I don't know who else was the other people that we followed. Uh, well, eventually. I mean, we had a good long run with like the actress or whatever in the card game. But that, that was like one scene, bit, though. But that's yeah, it's just a scene. Really? You probably missed back and forth between the Jewish girl and the bastards. Yeah. Um, Brad Pitt did a really good job acting too. I was just like, uh, doesn't care. Yeah. Um, I also I also kind of did want to mention because um, you're talking about brutality and it, the. Like the one hundred scalps that yeah. he's like, he's like per guy, per, per, guy. per guy. The the thing I was thinking about when I thought about that was like, well, this isn't the first time uh, Jews have been asked to <laughs> remove something from their enemies. Oh my god! Because you, you remember, yeah, per, you, David? Yeah, yeah. David uh, had like uh, Saul ordered uh, David uh, to get like what was it like a, a thousand Philistine foreskins or something like that? <laughs> just so he said hundred scalps. I'm like, yeah, the they're Jewish. You think of? <laughs> You're like, well, this is the first time Jews have been asked to remove something. Uh, I didn't. I didn't realize he actually like he literally meant that yeah. they were gonna scalp like, them. Yeah. And I was like, "Whoa!" Yeah, that did was... not expect that. Uh, I did not either. No. Yeah. Um, uh, and then also uh, in that opening scene, um, I don't know if you noticed this, but Furalise 
there, there, there were notes of for release in like uh, so when you're know, like the farmer and then you have the Germans coming up you have doo, 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 doo. Wow. or something like that like uh, like, like the beginning bits of for like release classical is that um, it it's, it's Beethoven. Beethoven Beethoven and he's German later on is one of the name tags Beethoven I think so yeah okay. I think I think it was yeah um, so in, in Beethoven's German so um, that was that, that kind of plays yeah. into like the Germans are coming by using a little bit of a, a German you know, talking through it now, if I view it as it was a suicide run more at the end, that, that's, that's, that's then less I of like it a little better. Yeah. Because then that makes more sense. Were there any other I scenes that you did? Like they killed a, they killed a guy with the, that just had his boy or whatever. Ah, uh, yeah, but that that, that, that kind of sucked. It could be yeah. A tragedy of war. I, I would have. Well, I mean, they, they they weren't trying to, you know, like, but she ended up. She ended up shooting him. It's like, come on. That's got a little, um, little tough scene, too, when they're like, yeah. she's trying to explain it or whatever, and Brad Pitt sticks his finger in the slug wound or whatever. Oh, I, uh, yeah. I could have yeah. done without that. <laughs> he, he can be a bit gruesome. I wouldn't say this is the most gruesome Tarantino movie I've seen. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to think. I think, uh, like, the car scene in Pulp Fiction. Yeah. Like, where they blow the guy's brains out in the yeah. back of the car accidentally. Yeah. That was probably one of the most gruesome scenes I've seen in a Tarantino movie. Yeah. Um, you know what's really, like... So, what was with the quick cut scene there and there in the card scene, and they quick cut to the one guy getting whipped for, like, five seconds? Then they cut back. So, like, do you think... Oh, I, I, I don't... It's just a real quick cutter. You you have to you'd have to remind me of what what was around it's in the card scene. The SS guy just sits down and he had just finishes King Kong, and then the other guy for some reason quick pictures himself tied to a post getting whipped on the back. Oh, I think they were. Exp- I think what they were trying to explain there is that that SS officer had, had done something to him in the past, or something along that line. Yeah. I, th- I, th- I think they were trying to imply. Clear. I think they were trying to imply he's had a history of SS officers okay, or something like that. Yeah. Um, that can make more sense. I, I, I think that's what they were doing. I think that's what they were trying to imply there. Um, yeah. Okay. That, yeah. That's I think what I was getting to, but like, you're in the middle of a car game and all of a sudden you quit cut five seconds and you're back. Yeah. I, it, you, it, usually, usually that kind of thing is, is usually kind of implying um, something with that. It's, it's usually in the mind of a character, like, like a flashback or a memory or something like that. Right. And um, I think I think that's what that was. Yeah. Um, I don't. I, I'd have to like rewatch that. Yeah. No, it's to be really like, oh, like, yeah, yeah. Point that out. Um, that's real quick. He does a couple like you just jump like uh, not not a great scene either. But when they get introduced to the who's the guy in charge of all the the media? Is it Gary? Was Gary? Possibly. Yeah. Whatever it was, he's got his French interpreter. Yeah. And he just, Quick cut. Oh yeah, yeah. Sex scene briefly for <laughs> yeah, like two yeah. seconds, and then you're I, back. It, it, again. It, I, th- I think yeah, it's just like an implication that they that they have sex. Like, like, okay. In case you weren't wondering, <laughs> we're back. <laughs> it's like just so you know. Yeah, in case you're wondering. They have sex. Okay, now we're back. Back. <laughs> now you know. Um, yeah, Tarantino is interesting with that. So, what else do you think? Of, like, what did you think of the first scene when she's running away to you? Like, I, was I, so sure I didn't. Was I didn't understand computer. what he. I didn't understand what he said. I don't understand what he said. And like, I, I think. I think she. Up, I think thinking? she. Well, she's really far away. Know, he's gonna I'm have a really. Like, he's he's gonna have a really hard. Look some confidence. You're like. Yeah. Oh, he's he's like, I'm he's, he's, sure he's, he's probably shot. he's probably aiming his gun. He's like, okay, because cause that that's a, like she's really far uh, away. So that's hard. a really hard shot, especially with not a scope. With a pistol, that's and then um, I think she just got so far away that he's like, okay, I can't make that shot. Yeah, but like. When he first pulls the gun, my initial thought is, ah, she's dead. Yeah. This is very... I, w- I, was, sur- I was surprised. So like, I, I thought he was going to like shoot her right away, but apparently not. I was like, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's uh, so interesting. Yeah. His, whole, his whole character is just... And, I, I, and I, was, I was surprised that the guy actually, like, he actually gave him away. I was, I, like, like, he, like, he was, like, really pressured. Well, what, ha- what was perfect is the whole conversation leads up to Landa, like, not talking about it at all. And then all of a sudden, it comes so direct. That... Well, he, he he doesn't he doesn't even accuse the guy for hiding him. He he, he just like he just says like, um, like he, he, he just he, he's like he's like you know it's like okay yeah we'll just have to do a, a pretty typical search here. Yeah. Um, he's like however, if you have any information that might help me, then your family would cease to be he harassed. Started. And he he basically just is like is like hey if he's basically implying, if you're hiding someone. 
we're not going to punish you yeah. if you tell us That's... where they are. And if, if, if we can get them, then we will stop harassing you and you guys will be okay. And I think I think that's what broke him because he, he was thinking about his family and he was thinking about like like they can't well, they can't keep him doing this. Is that if, if he thinks Landa already knows, then he has to try to save his family. Yeah, and and if and if then then if he refuses and they find them, then they're all they all they're all dead. So and Landa, I don't remember what he says next, but whenever he hits him with the question or something, he either states it or questions him. It's something like you're hiding Jews, aren't you, or something like that, and he hits it so straight. That if the guy doesn't respond right away, he's screwed. Yeah. Like, if you don't instantly come back with, well, no. As soon as you take a second to think about it, you're screwed. Yeah. So I, 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 thought, I thought that was super well done. And especially, yeah. and like I mentioned before, um, how they, they brought that in with um, the Jews not knowing English. Yeah. And they were, like, they, like they didn't realize that, they, that he had betrayed them. And then when he goes, like, when he goes out the door... And he's back to talking French. He's like, girls, come back in. And, and you have the, the girls come the troops. <laughs> yeah, you have the troops coming in too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But so a normal movie director, in my mind, in that scene, is thinking, we're trying to set up super evil Anna. Right? German, SS. So and Jew hunting. I think most directors would have had him kill the Jews and then, like, kill the family and burn the house down. Probably, yeah. Like, yeah. most people, we want to make this character, you want to fear him. We're going to make an example right away. He, he probably Jews, wouldn't have kept his word. And he gets the family. He yeah. doesn't care about his word. He got the Jews. Mission solved. Anything, right? Yeah. So I, it's a bit, huge props to actually yeah. making a nuanced character. That is, just, yeah. Let's make him evil. Yeah, yeah. That's That was pretty That was pretty good. Yeah, I like it a lot. So, yeah, Quentin Tarantino, man. I, I tell you, every time we every time we get to one of his movies, yeah. it's it's always a good time. It's a good ride. I'd probably put this one at like an eight, I'd say. Okay. I um, so talking through it with you, I, I like it better now. I you, usually that that's usually the case for me when it's when I'm when I don't really know exactly how it all like how like how I feel about a movie. Right. Usually, talking through it is like you, you're like okay, then you start to remember okay this part and this part yeah, and this part how that. this goes and how this goes and. Um, were there any were there any parts that you still feel like you don't like about the movie? Any of those scenes? I don't, I don't like the anyway. I just don't like how they set the dad up to die with the the new kid. Uh, mm, okay, yeah. Besides that, though, I want. I just selfishly wanted one of the girls to survive. <laughs> maybe, you know. I don't know if they yeah. had to kill the actress off. Yeah. They didn't have to kill him off, but do I have like a huge problem with it? No. It yeah. Works. It's it's most of it all works in the film. Could have could have used for with a few more. I probably people would have living, just but... rather. I probably would have rather just had the Jewish film person die from the fire, than get shot. Yeah. I don't think we needed uh, that either. But again, these are nitpicky things. Like what, whatever. Yeah. She just died, she's gonna kind of kind of would have preferred it one way. Would have preferred another, it, but but still, I don't have anything huge besides that. I mean, okay. Yeah. No. I'll well, watch it again at some point. Definitely, I I own the movie. Oh. I bought it, I bought it like for five bucks on Apple. So, uh, yeah. So I was, and I'm I'm glad I did. So. Um, yeah. No, I would I'd recommend watching it, but there are some pretty bloody final parts. Yeah, yeah. So. Just just go on IMDb. They have a parental yeah, guide. Look, know what you're watching before you yeah, watch yep. it, uh, especially if you're that's watching not TV be stuff. For everybody. Definitely not. But that's, um, that's Tarantino, so. And if you have seen the movie, let us know what you guys think of it um, yeah. down in the comments below. And uh, if you guys like the video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe if you guys want to see more of these discussions. And we'll see you guys next week.